All right, so I just figured out how to install this plugin to use the raw files from uh, Canon 5D Mark II in Final Cut Pro, and it was um, I did a little Google searching, and this guy here, Rudy Winston, he wrote an article about it, but what he didn't do was make a video about it, so I just wanted to make a video kind of explaining how I did it and how it can work for anyone else. So, I was reading this article and it directed me to go to this website and download the plugin for Final Cut Pro. So, it's asking you right here to select your operating system and this actual plugin to use the raw 5D and 7D footage only works in a um, Mac. So what I did here is I went here and actually downloaded this plugin right here. It's the EOS Movie Plugin for Final Cut Pro. And you want version 1.2. So you download it here, and I already downloaded it, and it's um, right to my desktop right here. And I opened it up and it gave me this uh, disk image and I, I basically just clicked that and followed the instructions. It took about 35 seconds and then it was ready to go. I didn't have to do anything else. So now what I want to do is I open up Final Cut Pro. And in Final Cut Pro, what you'll do is you'll find um, either from a card reader or from a hard drive that you've transferred the files from the Canon 5D Mark II or 7D. Um, you, you access that through access those files through login transfer. So I'm going to go ahead and click that, and I added that before this uh, folder right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up here and create a custom path, add a custom path. And before I did this one, and now I want to do this one because I haven't uh, put those files in. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Open it up and so now it's trying to add that folder add all the video files in that folder and it takes a few seconds so we're gonna just wait here and this will come up pretty soon shouldn't take... okay there we go um, so you've got these files here and what you're going to want to do is you can either click and drag them into here or you can select all of them and or select a few and click this button to add to the queue and I'm going to go ahead and select all of them because I want to do it that way so I'll go ahead and select all of them and you can see right here you've got your progress bar it's moving um, as it's uploading or transferring and encoding the video and this is a 12 second clip so it doesn't take too long um, it's faster than using MPEG stream clip I'll tell you that much and what happens is after it's done transferring it's going to show up here in your your box right here your browser so let's wait for that to, to just uh, finish their encoding and and then I'll actually pause and then I'm going to show you what it looks like okay so look at this and there you got it it's all in there I added a transition right here so I could show you an example of what it uh, looks like and the video actually before just putting the raw files in the when it went through a transition it didn't uh, work out so well it had a, it almost stuttered um, if that's, that's the best way I can explain it and so I'm gonna go ahead and just play this and I'll show you go through this with you is um, the video this is our video and this is the sequence what I went ahead and did was um, I dropped it into the timeline and then it asked me, it prompts me to change the sequence settings to match the video settings and that's always a good idea. So um, 24 frames per second, 19 by 20, 
1920 by 1080 and um, the audio is all good and something that's different is this the reel it's got the it's from the 7D it's really nice um, it uh, does a lot of good things for you so that is how to do it and actually it kind of it drops in a little time code section right there to help you out um, I hope you learned something if there's any questions just to post a comment on my uh, YouTube under this video and ask me any questions see if I can help you there's other resources too like going to this uh, Canon website alright thanks